So how do we use a single sketch to draw something that goes all the way around a cylinder? Well, we have a tool called Wrap. Wrap takes a sketch and it wraps it around a cylinder, um, which is exactly what we want to do in this particular question. So we're just going to run through it really quickly. First of all, we need our cylinder and we need to know the diameter of our cylinder. This becomes quite important later on. So at the moment we've got a cylinder that's 9 centimeters, 90 millimeters in diameter. We then need to create a sketch. The sketch needs to be on a plane so that it can project onto the face of our cylinder. So I'm now going to edit the sketch and we're just going to have a quick look at it. Now I've been uh, really naughty with this sketch and it's not fully defined. Um, it's positioned and it's just shaped. Now obviously you should fully define your sketches, it makes everything much safer. One of the reasons I haven't done that is I wanted just this dimension to be uh, visible. Now this dimension, 282.74, completely bonkers dimension. But what this is, is this is a very specific length that equals the circumference of our cylinder. So the way I've done that is to actually use an equation equals pi times 90, where 90 is the diameter of my cylinder, so that I know that my sketch is going to be exactly the circumference. This is important because a wrap will only go around 360 degrees, um, and not more than 360 degrees, so we don't want to get that overlap, particularly um, because I'm going to be using the deboss command in wrap, which we'll see in a second. So I've drawn a, a cam profile, it's got some pretty sharp corners on it, but it's uh, very simple for this demonstration. We then exit the sketch, uh, sorry, we then accept the dimension and exit the sketch and we want to use the wrap tool. So the wrap tool asks for an existing sketch or a plane on which to do it, fairly standard stuff, so I'm going to select my sketch and then it asks for a face to wrap it around, so I'm going to click the outside face and we can then see that SolidWorks has now given me a preview showing the, uh, the shape it's going to put on. I've now got three options. I can emboss, i.e. extrude out of my cylinder, deboss, cut into my cylinder, or scribe, do a split line around my cylinder. Um, if we choose emboss or deboss, we get the option for how deep it's going to be. I'm going to choose 10 mil in this particular case. We can also use a pull direction if we want it to pull in a specific way onto the, onto the cylinder. And then we've got our source sketch. So if I hit the tick, what I've then done is I've used a single sketch to wrap a cam profile around my cylinder. And this is by far the easiest way to do cams of this style. Thank you very much for watching.